started right thank you all for joining in and today is our episode number 3737 so this is free intune training provided by how to manage devices community if you have any questions related to this training or if you have any question, technical questions related to device management please feel to use forum.howtomanagedevices.com we are there to help you out and try to find out some answers for you okay so let's get started from the console itself right so we deployed two applications yesterday one was edge right so we deployed edge microsoft edge browser this was an out of box application uh, out of box template we used and we deployed this right using from the application node over here apps node over here and as you can see there are two missions which got edge now right so there's something happened because we totally have uh, four uh, three missions right and if i if you see the properties over here you would be able to see like we deployed to all the windows devices so we have three windows devices in in my environment now but it got deployed only to only to two devices so we will see why why is that right so if you if you look at <clears throat> to get more details uh, this is another reporting option which we have in intune right device install status under the monitor right so we have two we can see two devices over here 0 103 i'm wondering why the 05 or 5 is not there so these two de devices are azure ad joined devices right so azure ad registered devices are not there right so this is this is azure ad registered device okay so how can we come how can we confirm that we can go to azure ad and uh, confirm it right and uh, from intune console also you can confirm it but from the mission you can see the, the i'm logging into this mission with local username and password right this is not this device is not joined to azure active directory rather it's only mdm managed right if you can go to settings and accounts okay over here access work school you can see this is mdm managed and azure ad registered right this is not azure ad joined device okay so i won't be able to log into this mission with my azure account okay corporate account unless and until i join this mission to azure ad okay so that that is why this is azure ad registered device okay so yesterday i i touched upon something related to win32 applications and lob applications if i remember correctly win32 applications right uh, i don't know let me let me try to explain from the console itself right or portal itself so when i go to applications apps windows apps right so we we selected add, we clicked on add apps or or add our add button right and there are different options here right these are all default options out of box configurations available for intune admins to use right office 365 we deployed office 365 also yesterday and we deployed edge as well okay so we are talking about edge now right and we have something like windows apps win32 and lob apps i don't know how many of you seen these videos the previously lob apps are basically msi apps only msi apps single msi can be deployed through lob apps so this this application model will be or this application deployment is available for both azure ad registered and azure ad joined devices right this one lob application okay and this is this is natively deployed through windows 10 mdm channel okay but windows 10 mdm can, channel cannot deploy exes 
and if you if you have a, a, pa a pl msi application package with lot of files right then you have to use windows app or win32 application right so this is the solution for that and when you when you try to install this application right one additional agent will get installed this is all i i kind of explained in the previous episodes and previous videos uh, probably you will get more lot more details about these configurations in those videos right okay so so this is lob application uh, sorry this is win32 application and this is only we can deploy this only to azure ad joined devices this is not available for azure ad registered devices so when i say azure ad registered devices those are like byo kind of a scenario right so what is happening over here with edge right with edge so if i if i look at the device list which got installed we, our windows group has both azure ad registered devices this is azure ad registered device and this 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 103 and 01 are like azure ad joined devices we we have already deleted 02 and 04 right because of some issue so these two missions are two devices are not there in our tenant okay so but it got deployed only two device two two devices those are azure ad joint devices so that means i was wondering and i was checking what happened and uh, what is the issue with this why it's not kind of uh, getting deployed uh, to to azure ad registered devices then i found that okay this is only Get, will get deployed to Azure AD join devices because in the background, right? When we created that application, it is creating a Win32 application. Okay, Win32 application is using Intune management extension agent to install all these applications, right? All Win32 applications. So what I did is I tried to check the Azure AD join device. As you can see the edge is already here if i click on that you can see the edge edge is coming up and it says like hey, do you want to migrate uh, the the profile etc etc right migration task is kind of going on now this is the first time launch of the edge so this is legacy edge and this is the chromium version of the edge so it it is asking to get get started and you will see like all the edge related settings uh, chromium edge related settings over here right okay so the edge got installed on this particular device this is azure ad joint device as i mentioned over here right so i checked like okay in the event log i i was checking for the events related to edge yesterday also you have seen i was checking the events related to edge i couldn't find anything because that was win32 application right window windows 32 application deployment and that is that is that is basically run by something called Intune management extension. So that is a different agent, uh, as you can see somewhere here. Right, Microsoft Intune management extension. So this is the agent which runs Win32 applications in Intune. That is why we couldn't find anything in the event log yesterday, right? And and you can see over here, right? There, there is. I, I don't know. I think I have already explained this in the previous videos, as I mentioned before. This is the log file location for Intune Win32 application or Intune management extension agent, right? So this is similar to SSCM log files, right? So you will see like um, the download download option, download details, and all the other details in this log file, right? Intune. This is the log file name. Intune management extension dot log, right? And if you run the PowerShell script through Intune, that is also used, um, deployed uh, using Intune management extension, 
right and for that you need to check the log file called agent executor right okay so let's get into the log file and try to understand what happened when we created the uh, edge deployment in in tune right so to yesterday it was 8th right 8th june and it started around 8:43 am we we deployed it around 8:15 or i don't remember exactly the time 8:15 probably right and it started the download around 8:34 and then it is it is downloading downloading the content right as you can see microsoft edge setup hyphen 86 that is a exe it is downloading right so that is clear it is it is not an msi application and you cannot use that lob application option in intune right so that is why microsoft already kind of created an out of box template for edge microsoft edge and that edge is an exe application and that is what it is planning to install on our devices so you can see the toast notification message over here right and uh, content is down getting downloaded the, to the cache folder right which is the cache folder again we have a blog post about this right this is the cache folder and content will download get downloaded to the cache folder and it will stay there only up to the uh, completion of the installation after the completion of the installation right after the in successful installation or failure right it will automatically get deleted right so so if you see the content folder there is nothing over here okay so so that is that is one thing you need to kind of take care in intune management extension agent deployment or win32 application deployment in intune right so this got downloaded and installed right edge got installed etc etc right all all the things are completed successfully see there is a command over here exe is getting installed right and then it is sending back the information status to the intune intune service in the cloud right so all these happened on azure ad joint device so so the key point here is basically as microsoft edge chromium deployment happens through win32 application deployment path right so that is a intune management extension you won't be able to find in uh, event you won't be able to find anything in the event log related to this application right uh, it should be you should be looking at intune management extension i'm looking at old old file because it it, it already overwritten the the old file right and it created a backup copy of and copy of it we have we already have a where is it we already have a different uh, log file currently running see as you can see this this is 93 kb this is a current file so to check the yesterday's activities i i use the previous log file right okay and this is one other interesting location for intune management uh, where is it yeah this one right for the mdm so there are there are some local mdm folders available right i have a, i have a detailed blog post about this also if you open up this one you would be able to see what is this application what is this happening this is basically for intune management extension right so this is basically installation of the intune management extension a, um, extension agent right so i i mentioned when when we when we create a intune management uh, sorry win32 application right it will automatically deploy an azure intune management extension agent and then that agent will take over the actual installation of all the win32 applications so so if you are not clear about this differences please go back and visit the previous videos that i have i think i have clearly explained over there and uh, showed how to deploy it 
uh, deploy win32 applications etc in detail right okay so that was edge deployment yesterday's edge deployment now we need to look at office right so what is the scene with office right how the office is getting installed and what is there so you can see three three installation it got installed on the three devices that is a positive sign that means in let's let's check right so we use the same group over here also win the same assignment that is windows devices right and if i go to devices you can three uh, you can see all the three devices which is available in our tenant right De registered with our tenant that is 03 03 is the one uh, one device which we vm which we looked into now right and uh, 0105 right so all the devices it got installed so that means intune is using the default mdm channel to install office 365 pro plus right because it is getting deployed to azure ad registered devices as well as azure ad joined devices right so this is azure ad registered devices five a registered device and this is azure ad these are azure ad joined devices 01 and 03 okay so let's go back and check how how the office application got installed right before that let me show you in the device itself right so the you can see the application got installed and you can see the shortcuts over here right if you click on that you can see okay it will ask you to log in probably yeah sign in right sign in with your uh, corporate credential so so that it can validate the license etc right and agreement so this got accept the license agreement that's fine i will accept it okay fine close okay so so that is that is fine right now let's go back now let's go back to give me a sec let's go back to the registered device as you ready registered device right and see what is happening over there so i check the event logs for the office then right so we deploy the office around 8:30 or 8:25 yesterday and uh, 8:25 yesterday that is going to be a bit different right this is this is not the correct one let me go down a bit and check what is happening over here right uh, so we start we deployed today okay yesterday it was 8 okay so we deployed office around 8:15 or 8:25 i think right and i don't know whether there is any coming anything coming down here this is this is yesterday's right so let's let's refresh and see what happened over here and as you can see the word everything is everything got installed over here okay so let's let's refresh and check what happened after that 8:15 let me go down and find out okay so this is this is yesterday 9 9:15 time time frame right 9:15 8:39 9. and we try to deploy it and it nothing happening over here so this 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 one thing okay that is error that's fine and i was checking <clears throat> i was checking this one this is uh, this is okay i think failure failure this is fine now we reached around 5:50 or 5:23 in the evening yesterday 
right? And uh, nothing much over here. This is the same thing for. Okay, so what is this? Session started to do nothing much, right? Okay, so this is again the policy refresh, general policy refresh. That is why it's giving the details. Okay, nothing, nothing happened over here. Right. Okay, I think we are missing something. Give me a sec. If I go to if I go to the registry, right? What what I found in the registry basically is a entry for office, right? So this this is this got created. This registry entry got created after deploying the office right so it got created office and uh, office 1600 right and you can see all the all the other registry entries for a, each individual product right so this is under office microsoft office 6.1 excel right install road right so these details are available but i was able to find um registry entry but i'm missing sorry event log entry for downloading the msi and all but i'm missing that now right let me let me try to check that again all right so give me a sec I think it was it was some were down MSI. Let me check with MSI. Right. Okay. So basically, I just wanted to explain uh, what happened over here, right? So, what is the process? Let me let me try to try to explain that, right? Let me try to find one more MSI. This is again five five. Okay. So application and application alert started rendered. Okay, that's fine. I think I saw something something on sixth, which is a perfect example for office installation. All right. So basically, what what will happen is it will automatically install the application. Let me let me go up, right? Let me go up and find MSI from from the top. Okay, so eight twelve something happened MSI. Um, so yeah, so basically this is this is action st an application status alert send device management so basically when there is an msi application installation right it is it is going to happen like this right so this is the default default registry path i think yesterday also we have kind of saw this right and we couldn't able to find out what does this exactly right so i'm going to registry and i'm going to ms microsoft Right then, enterprise, enterprise application management or enterprise desktop application management. I think that is the correct one for enterprise desktop application management (MSI). Okay, MSI. Then, um, so you, I need to look into the enrollment ID. So, which is the enrollment ID shows shows in the that is one three zero one three zero. Okay, one three. What? I can see two of them. MSI is there. Right, MSI. So. 
So this is the enrollment ID 130, right? It ends with 130, right? So this is the event, uh, event we are talking about here. So let's trace this particular event. This happened around 812, right? And let's go through that event log and understand what happened. This is session. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Let's go down a bit and see what uh, what is happening below that MSI. So, so basically, what is going to happen is I'm not able to find. Okay. So, yeah. An application started. Install started. Okay. This is the process I was looking for. Give me a sec. Okay. So this is the perfect one. Yeah, content download. Yeah, this is the one I was looking for. Bear with me for a minute. Okay. Basically, what we can do is we can start from the download, which we have seen. I'm not able to find the other relevant logs event logs but you can see give me a sec yeah so basically application download content download started for the msi so that is that has started around around 5 5 11, sorry 8 11 right so this is the same process for all the msi installation if you are using lob application in intune right it will it will download the application right then you would be able to see download completed event log right as you can see over here download completed right so download got completed now the installation will start right see the next event log is installation has started right and the next event log would be the application installation got succeeded right so this is the event log flow for all the all the msi or lob application right so all the msi or lob application events will be available over here so it took only like um, probably 20 seconds right one event was 8 12 10 and the completion event was on 8 12 uh, 8 12 33 all right so these are the these are the two two installations which we have kind of completed yesterday and you can see like the the word excel everything is kind of installed right and you can kind of log try to log in with with your corporate id right um, and log into that and that will have the license automatically right activation of the office etc right okay so any any questions on this part today? Cash folder for Windows 10 MDM agent. Okay, thank you, Jitesh. <laughs> okay, if there is no questions, probably we can resume tomorrow, same time, same place, and we will see something related to. Uh, something related to security policies again uh, some default security templates are available in Intune and uh, We will see something about ADMX policies also, right? There are some ADMX cloud GPO related policies So we will see that tomorrow probably we will try to deploy some edge and office related group policies through uh, ADMX tomorrow, right and if you don't have any questions, we can. Yeah, I know one question. Yeah. Uh, for O365, uh, uh, will that be using the DO? Because I think it's a bigger package or the bigger files. Yeah, DO, DO is used yeah, in Office 365. All the MSI applications, right? If you are using LOB applications, right, from, from Intune. And I think Win32 is also coming up with um, DO now, but 
Oh, I I know for sure all the Office 365 and all the LOB applications are using Do. And you need to have that Do kind of uh, what you call policies configured, right? Okay. It's there in the configuration uh, configuration profiles. So there are default options available to configure the DO policy. So you need to configure that DO policies. Then it will act act accordingly. All right. If there is any uh, dependency like add-ins, plugins uh, for Office, can can those be installed uh, prior, after, or you know, clubbing? Like we do in the package, is it possible to have the plugins also installed? I don't think so. Through this method, we would be able to do that because we we have only option to uh, put a custom XML, right? Apart from that, we don't have any option to provide the source file or something like that. Basically, everything is coming through a CSP, right? There is a there is a Office 365 uh, Pro Plus CSP for Windows. Um, what do you call of Office? Uh, yeah, Windows 10 MDM, right? So all these things are coming through that CSP. Okay, so I don't think we have an option to we have an we have any option to control the source files etc. etc. Right? If you have any specific requirement like that, then probably. uh for you the best option is to use um, win32 application right so you can use your own package and you can you can in uh, b- built in all add-ins and everything over there i i think that is only one option but i don't know i i never tried deploying uh, add-ons part of um, sorry add-ins part of the core office installation is that the way you normally you install in your organization Yeah, we generally do for oh, okay. Zoom plugins or Office other oh. plugins. So how how the plugin? Uh, so for example, right? If if you are in a semi-annual channel, how the plugins will get updated uh, during the semi-annual channel update of the Office? So you don't use the semi-annual channel, or you just install the other package? Uh, I think the other package. Oh, okay, okay. so that would be a trouble going forward probably because once you are into office 365 pro plus and all right so uh, the support support is only for uh, one year uh, one year or so if you are using semi annual channel right and um, after one year it will show us out of support version of office 365 pro plus right then there is no other way than upgrading it somehow so probably your process is to a uh, build another package in build uh, sorry um, another package within your organization and deploy that probably yeah i never i never used that kind of a uh, scenario so the only the only available option for that is to use win32 application yeah i'm good at thanks no worries okay any any other questions So is we are going to finish for today. Thank you all for joining in and uh, see you tomorrow same time same place. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.